Hi everyone, welcome to Hepsess by the Insight Studio. We are here to teach you everything you need to know to get the most out of your HubSpot account so that you can grow your company. Today I'm going to show you how to add new users to your HubSpot account and to change their permissions and settings. Let's dive in. Spot on the main default screen when you log in and I'm going to add a new user to my HubSpot account. So I'm going to go up to the gear and click on this let it load and then scroll all the way down to the left over here until you see users and teams it's the second the last menu option and then here i am so users teams roles here are the people in the account right now um, i can delete people out from here or add them so i am gonna go create user I'm gonna type in the user's email address. So I already added myself, but let's try to do it again. Gmail.com, it's gonna tell me I already am in there. Let's try something else. There we go. Um, if you are a brand new company to HubSpot and you have a bunch to add and you have your employees all in a spreadsheet, you can also upload a CSV file and you really just need email addresses. Um, it, it's a little trickier with the user settings. Um, I usually prefer just to add one at a time, but you can play around with that tool too. So I'm gonna hit next. This is where you set everything that this person will see when they're in here. So we have the team they're on and we don't have any teams in here yet, but I could, so it's no team, but if there were teams, they would all appear down here. Same with the role. Um, we have super admin as a role, but you can do all the roles you want to customize and segment your own staff however you'd like. But then you have all the hubs, right? So contacts, that's like the CRM, just contacts companies where you store things, the marketing hub, sales hub, service hub. And then if you click more, you'll also see reports. So you kind of just walk through this and think about the individual that you're adding to it and what they need and what you feel comfortable giving them as the HubSpot admin. So under view, they can view everything in HubSpot, only things on their team or um, only ones owned. So own means that that contact or company is actually assigned to that user. Um, so for example, when you add a, a brand new user to HubSpot, they're essentially going to be assigned to no one until someone else then goes and assigns them contacts. Um, so that's in view, communicate, edit. Down here are some basics. Um, these are important, bulk delete, you can turn that on or off, import, on or off, export, workflows, and then property settings. I am really picky on who I give property settings to because you don't want your team to start creating custom properties all the time and potentially duplicate information so that you don't have clean data. So once you do that, you could go on to marketing. If this person is a salesperson and won't be doing any marketing, you could just turn it off. Um, but if they are going to be doing marketing, you just kind of go through. These are all the different services by HubSpot. So sh can they publish ads? Can they publish blogs? Or, or can they just write blogs? You know, um, So you might want a content writer, so you have a contractor, to be able to come in and write the content, but someone with the permission is the one that actually hits publish. Um, same with emails, um, landing pages, website, all these things. You just kind of go through, decide, lists, forms, reporting. Um, this is all the web development stuff. So web pages, landing pages, if you have custom email templates. Do you want them to be able to code, content staging, edit website settings, um, come up to sales, same thing. Should they be able to see everything, team or owned only? Do you want to give them one of your paid seats or not? That's this one. Service hub, same deal. And then you can go more and reports and also see like what you want to give them access to. Once you've figured that out, you can um, go to the next step. One thing I will throw in, if you're setting this up for an owner or you know a C-suite or someone that should have access to everything, and you don't want to go through all that and you just want to say give them access to all things you could go actions and make them a super admin right here and that essentially is just a shortcut to give them access to everything so now we're going to hit next this is just like saying are you sure you want to send this we then hit send 
And just like that, it sent it away to this um, new contact to be created. And it will show as pending until they accept that. You can also come to this view and see like shortcuts to what they have access to and what teams they're on and easily click into the, any of these um, and update their role, their settings, all of that. Um, if you want to delete someone, you just select them and you can either assign them a role or remove from account. I talked about teams and roles at the beginning. We don't have any in here, but right here is where you get to those. So say you wanted to create a sales team or maybe it's a West, oops, West Coast sales, sales team. Um, and then you just kind of go through these things and hit save and then that team will appear. Same with roles, you can come in here and create the different roles like, um, I don't know, marketing manager, sales support, um, SDRs, whatever you want. You could create them in here and then assign them to your users over here. So that's everything you need to know to create new users, delete users, assign permissions, all in your HubSpot account. And there you have it. That's how you add users to your HubSpot account. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful to you, like, comment with any questions you have about HubSpot and subscribe to get more videos just like this to help you leverage HubSpot for your company's growth. If you're needing help with HubSpot or your inbound marketing, you could reach out to us at theinsightstudio.com. Have a great day. Bye.